Leslie has thousands of friends and fans, and whereas Ellen B. Hill has helped build and shape the very community which is, which <coughs> is now honoring him. Now therefore, I, Darren Cordova, Mayor of the Town of Taos, hereby proclaim May 10, 2011, as Ellen B. Hill Day in Taos. Signed this day, Office of the Mayor, and attested by the Town Clerk. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen, we do also have uh, one of your uh, uh, most recent ordinances, and that was the Buskers ordinance. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That you took a lot of time, and, uh, yeah. and we're, we're very proud of the work that you did on that ordinance. Uh, we'd like to have that ordinance uh, on Simple the platform. Simple for framing. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. So, Ellen, once again, thank you on behalf of the Mayor and Council. Uh, the Mayor and Council are, are extremely proud of the work that you have done for the many years to the Town of Taos. I've seen you in action. I uh, you know your your history. You know your issues. Um, I know that uh, uh, we're glad that you have offered your services and advice uh, during your retirement because so many issues revolve on your knowledge uh, and uh, your expertise. And we're thankful uh, for your com commitment and uh, services to the community. So, on behalf of the town of Dallas Mayor and Council, thank you very much for all of you done for the town of Dallas. Thank you very much. I'd like to especially thank his family because his family really is uh, supportive of Ellen uh, and us pulling him away and, and uh, for the many, many years that, and decades that he's uh, served our community. So thank you. Thank you very much. That's it. Your words, thank you, Mayor. I know you have a long meeting this afternoon and, and actually I'm a little surprised actually. <laughs> I'm honored, of course, and uh, humbled by this uh, recognition, I guess. And you know, um, all kinds of things are racing through my mind right now, actually, because I, I'm uh, nursing some hay fever right now, and, uh, and my buddy Ed here works in the GIS department. He says, "Alan, oh, you got to come over to the town of Towns. We've got this really important mapping issue coming for the council this <laughs> afternoon." And of course, I lit up. I said, "Oh yeah, if you've been working on these projects for a long time, you better get over there." And uh, and then I saw this, and I said, "Wow, what a nice uh, idea." Um, I was kind of surprised actually because the other day we, I was humbled and honored by the Historic, Taos County Historical Society and they presented me a proclamation by the Taos County Commissioners as well because I did work at the county for a bit. But, you know, gosh, like I say, there's all these things that are flashing before me right now as I speak and all I can remember is uh, all the people I worked with. Melinda's here. Hi, Melinda. <laughs> Melinda's probably been with me the longest in the planning department, and uh, recently now, uh, Ed Ramsey. But I was just thinking, uh, going back to the early days, and I think it's something you mentioned earlier, uh, Mayor, when the uh, town hall was right across the street, the old little Pueblo Hall here. These were the only town buildings, and uh, it finally got moved over to the baseball, what we called the old baseball field, and we were over there. And in those days, uh, gosh, there was a big team, uh, a big management team in back in those days. We had Jimmy Famro and Manny San Esteban and um, uh, Ted Martinez. Actually, he was Ted Martinez for a long time was a very big help to me. And uh, Walter B. Hill, uh, the late Walter B. Hill, was public works director back in those days. And, and gosh, I think I, I mentioned this at the other day, me, and I think I, I'd like to say it today. Uh, it, it was a, a real honor working under six mayors, including yourself, I think. <laughs> six mayors and uh, several, several council members, including Elijah Tet was a council member then, but then he was uh, mayor later, and uh, uh, Lawrence Santisteban, and then Bobby Duran, Fred Perata, and yourself. And, and actually, uh, I do want to bring Another thing, uh, another memory up is because I guess for 20 some years we sat in these rooms with the Planning Zoning Commission. And I remember Jean was on that Planning Zoning uh, Councilman Sanchez was on that Planning Zoning Commission, and Man uh, Michael was on that Planning Zoning Commission. Many people that actually served in the Town Council got a lot of training, a lot of experience with Planning Zoning uh, Service. So Frank Cruz was on there, and mm -hmm. Linda. Scientists at the time, uh, but I guess I, if I had to say anything, I would say thanks to the Planning Zoning Commissioners who do this on a volunteer basis, and you know you, you really want to thank them for, for the duty they give to the town. 
the Historic Preservation Commission, uh, Scott Sanger, Bob Sturtzman, Marcus Trujillo, uh, gosh, I'm probably taking too much time here, but the, I'm just, again, reminiscing here all the years, the uh, people that I've worked with, and then people at the county, uh, you know, uh, Becky, Becky Parras and Edward Hill and some of those people. And, uh, of course, like I say, I always remember the music, and I remember Darren when he was working on Tuss Radio. He had a little shop there, and I had a little, I actually had a little gu guitar store on the side there, and my partner, Vito, and I had a little guitar store, and he still, I remember Darren coming over, and he was still a youngster. <laughs> he used to come over and jam with us over at the, at the music store. But who would have thought, you know, who would have thought after all these years, that um, things would like turn out the way they did. And I was reading that proclamation about my wife and my kids, I guess. That's the hard part. <laughs> my wife is always good. She always says, do you have another meeting tonight? <laughs> and I guess, yeah. I said, these are all, yeah, that's what it's all about. Meetings and meetings and meetings. And I'm just glad to see that, you know, you're keeping up the good work, keeping up the good business. And like I say today, uh, Ed told me, is we got another thing coming up on the maps. I said, well, that's what we do. That's what we do best. I'm Ed. <laughs> so I'm glad to see that. Good, good luck to you. And uh, I'm enjoying my retirement. I'm getting well. As you know, I was going for some treatments at UNM, and I'm still taking care of that. But um, I guess I really consider myself one of the lucky ones because there's a lot of other people that uh, you know have had a harder time with their treatments. But I'm having a real good time with my treatment, and I think we're having good success. So. The, the prayers and uh, the good wishes are, 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 are working. So, on that basis, I guess I, I better be quiet here, <laughs> not take any more of your time. Okay. Thank you very much to the community and to the rest of you. Uh -huh.